I can't believe you're still having any babies. You're sitting on my foot. I don't think she's feeling good today. Look how cute they are. Guess what? She's starting to lamb. Let's go. I hear babies. All my babies get here. Good morning. Quick good morning because I got it run. Oh, maybe it's her. I put a false alarm. Hi, Ruby. She is still no babies. <laughs> God, this is getting old. Are you even pregnant? Can you get up on your own today? Hey? Um, no. Okay, let's go look for babes. Good Sunday morning. We're gonna treat this you, and then I'm gonna go through with a bottle again and just top up any that I don't think uh, mom has fed enough to or if they are weak in their legs, so. She's trying. Hi. I can't believe you're still having any babies. All right, let's get you treated. Wouldn't you do that? Come on, come on. Back legs. You did so good yesterday. Oh. You just need to get your back end up, and then you're good. And you're sitting on my foot. And you're heavy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now you can't cheat. Now you can't cheat. Okay? That's a girl. Good girl. Does that feel much better?
She's not attacking her feed, she's just kind of nosing through it. I wonder if I can get her to the water bowl. I don't think she likes to in the pail. So apparently, the old phrase of leading animals to water is true. I can lead a sheep to water, but cannot make her drink. I don't think she's feeling good today. I might give her a painkiller. So I just topped up the uh, the skinny ewes, little, tiny little lamb, and the quads and the triplets. Everything is going to keep getting what we did yesterday twice yesterday or three times yesterday we took a bottle and just introduced it to all the lambs so I can figure out who I'm gonna pull out and put on the nanny today so yesterday I got it all set up and got the milk in it and got the and got the lines hooked up to the water I just have to hook up the power so I processed yesterday so I tagged them and did all the things so I could pull them out today. Those ewes look a little better this morning. Uh, they cleaned. I was concerned they weren't cleaning. The back one wasn't cleaning. Um, this one looks a little brighter and I was concerned, yes, last night she just looked kind of lethargic. I gave the, uh, the ewe, she's by the water bowl and she already laid down, but I gave her some Medicam, so that's a painkiller. I just, I'm not comfortable with the way she looks today. She just looks, her ears are a little bit more droopy. She's not drinking water and um, she didn't eat the feed that I offered her. Now the feed was yesterday's and the ewes have already sorted through it. So um, I think what I'll get Carissa to do is give her fresh TMR, which she does, uh, and then and see how she eats that. Not too many more updates. It was a quiet morning. So Mark was filling up his sprayer and he thought this ewe was lambing. So this is our down ewe. Let's check her out. Got my gloves on. I think I got a you down there, Lammy. I can hear her. Are you, see she's got a little discharge? I don't know if you can see it, right here. What I might do is bring that you down and do an internal because she's pushing and there's nothing coming out. No discharge, no water bag, no nothing. And usually when that's happening, they're, they could be coming out backwards. So I'm going to move her up. I'm going to try and get that you just past that water gate because I have to shut it. But she's really laboring hard. You can hear her. Okay, I've got her moved up here. And uh, so I'm just going to do an internal, but there's another one who keeps talking to her. So I don't know what her problem is. Is she just starting labor? Ah. What's the matter with you? 
That's enough out of you. Let her land in peace. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna see what's going on. Just make sure it's not, if it's coming up forward, I'm gonna let her carry on. If it's coming up backwards, I have to act. It's all right here, so I'm not sure if she's just trying to push out too much at the same time. There's a lot of pressure back You guys have got to see these lambs. Look how cute they are. So I checked her for another one and I can only feel the two, uh, but you never just know. I did realize what was wrong with that ewe that had the really skinny one that had the two. It looks like she gave birth to a stillborn one this morning. So that's why sometimes when they're unsettled, and they just don't want to stand for long periods of time. Usually there's another lamb, quite possibly there's another lamb in her. And I did check her a couple times last night, but she must, the lamb must have been just so far down, I never did feel it. So she must have lambed that out and Chris had just put it outside the pen. So I know who it belongs to when I go to process them today. That is a beautiful picture. So those ones are all let out. I put a couple of the quads that were drinking really well from the bottle. I put them in the bottle baby pen. I have to pull them out before I let mom out with the other two because they're gonna do so much talking back and forth that it's not gonna make them focus on what they need to do, which is learn how to drink out of the nanny. Guess what? She's starting to lamb. So now I gotta figure out, I don't know if I should lamb her in place or move her. Probably lamb her in place, but the water bag is out. So let's go. Okay. Number two. Hey, 
So two for now, um, I can't feel any more in her, but it might be the way she's laying. Um, but she does look a lot emptier, so there wasn't that many lambs in her. That was, they were really hard to start. I might, um, oh, they look better now. And she came into her milk, so I'm gonna strip a little bit and put it in a bottle and see if they'll drink some. And I love my gloves. I don't know what took me so long to switch. Very, very, very handy. And my cuffs aren't going to get all wet all the time. Bottle. Look at that. She had no milk like three days ago. In fact, the one teat felt like it had mastitis. And she's totally fine. She just hadn't come into her milk yet. So never give up. God, this is like the greatest lesson of my life. So not only did we successfully lamb out those, she actually walked all the way to this end of the barn and has been up ever since. Now we just got to get them feeling good enough to eat. She's amazing. So Chris has been working tonight at training the new bottle babies, which has been hard because they had full bellies when she started. They seem to know who, what you're all about though with oh, that. So they weren't drinking on the machine good, so what I told Carissa before we go in tonight, because it's getting late now, uh, we're just making sure they get through the night by feeding them a bottle, a bottle of milk. So she's doing this. Let's do a recap of today. So uh, she had the triplets, but I put one of one of hers into the bottle pen. That one's got a terrible. And then this one, she um, she ended up having three. One was buried in the straw, so she must have had it overnight. Uh, but I don't like the way she looks. She's skinny, and she's she's feeding this one really well, but. But the little one was not getting fed. So I'm going to make her a bottle baby. We let these guys all out so they're loving life. So you've missed quite a bit since you've been away, even though it feels like two seconds on my video when I've finished editing it. Um, we have had a heck of a time with these lambs that were born. The little black one that was born that I was so proud of uh, had a really slow start. I had to tube it twice and then I'm and it looked like it was just gonna die and then I'm like it actually kind of looks hungry so I grabbed we, Carissa grabbed me a bottle and she actually drank a bottle so she went from tube to barely getting a tube down her throat to drinking a bottle tonight so that's kind of a miracle but the problem is I don't know if she's got something neurologically wrong with it it just cannot 
get up, it's like its front legs are hyperextended. And my two out of my mama are not doing great. So they will not drink out of a bottle. I'm, they have fluid on their lungs, so I've been working at that for a while now. Um, I did get a tube down them, so they've all had about 150, they both had 150 mils of colostrum. Mom has been up and now she's down and I'm a little bit concerned. I actually kind of want her to stay down because now I'm afraid if she gets wobbly, I don't want her to land on her lambs. So that's why her lambs are kind of in the corner and not near her because I'm just afraid she'll accidentally fall on them, which she already almost did tonight. So it hasn't been, I mean, it's been a great day because we got the babies out safe and mama was walking and doing good, but um, it's just been a lot of work since you guys last saw us. We had another set of twins. Carissa had these when I was eating supper. And my twins from yesterday are still doing good. So they'll get let out in the morning into the bigger pen. I think it's pretty quiet back there. So that's about all we can do for tonight. I think uh, we're just gonna wrap up here. Chris is gonna finish feeding this bottle and then we're gonna head in for the night. Tomorrow's a big day. I have Rex coming to scan that great big group uh, later tomorrow afternoon. So uh, it's gonna be a big day. So we will see you guys tomorrow.